Hey everyone. I want to apologize in advance if this video comes off as a bit more awkward or stilted than the last one did. The last video was entirely scripted. I wrote down everything I was going to say just so I didn't ramble unnecessarily. But this one I feel like I need to not use a script that much and, you know, talk straight from me. Parts of it still will be scripted, but only the parts that I feel need to really be said. The first thing I want to say, though, is thank you to everybody. The grand majority of people that commented on that one video were honestly really pleasant. Even if they felt disgusted by what I did, they weren't outright toxic or hostile about it. They were only really nudging me in the right direction, if that makes any sense. It was nice, you know. There of course were those toxic people in there, but I'm surprised that I only really had to ban two or three people. Definitely lower than I expected. I'm honestly really proud of how that video came out, because it that was pretty much just me talking, airing out my regrets, and airing out everything, pretty much. So it really makes me feel good to realize that most people felt the same way, and just thank you. Even the negative feedback, I can still take that constructively and use it to improve myself in some way. So thank you for hearing me out and listening to what I had to say. Even just that let me know that there was still hope that I could do better for people and to be better for people. I really appreciate it. But now I need to say something else, something that's probably going to be fairly controversial to some people. This video right here is going to be the last time that I fully say something publicly on this matter. Unless something major happens, I will likely only mention this again in passing or to reference any additional steps I'm taking to improve myself. I'm doing this for two reasons. A, my mental health really needs it. What a lot of people don't understand is the toll that something like this takes on a person, which I'll be going into more detail on later. That doesn't mean I'm running away or hiding from it or anything like that, nor does it mean that I'm forcing all of you to stop talking about it entirely. I'm just saying that putting 100% of my focus into all this has only hurt me in the long run, and so I need to make this a mostly private affair so I can work at it at my own pace. The other reason is I realize that I've done all I can really do publicly. People are going to think what they're going to think, they're going to say what they're going to say, and overall I think speaking further on this would only come off as me trying to convince people in some way, and that's really, really not my intention. I can't change people's minds. I've come to terms with that months ago. And so I put in the active effort to not act like I'm trying to. Instead, I'm going to focus on making a better future instead of dwelling on the past. That's what I feel would be best for everyone now. But don't take this to mean that I'm leaving the internet entirely or that I'm leaving YouTube and never coming back. I've put too much time and effort into figuring out how I'm going to move forward from this to just run away and hide now. Rest assured that no matter what happens these coming weeks, I will be coming back. And I intend on finishing what I started. Eventually. Probably not immediately, though. This won't be an affair where I'll just be able to be like, yeah, I'll just upload a video tomorrow and everything will be- no, no. The truth is, when I say that I changed in my last video, I really, truly mean it. Mentally, I've gotten to the point now where it really, honest to God, feels like I have trouble expressing myself now. Do you ever have that feeling you get in the pit of your stomach, where it feels like everything is going to fall apart if you do or say the wrong thing, and that there's nothing you can really do about it, and that everything is so unstable that one small poke and everything crumbles? That is pretty much a summation of what I've been feeling this past year. And that's really affected my ability to be able to, you know, make stuff. You know what I mean? So that's something that I'm going to have to take time to work past. And that's something that I feel like is going to take a little bit of time. So unfortunately, while I do want to come back to making videos, since, you know, that kind of is my passion at this point, that's just not something I can flip a switch and be able to do at a moment's notice. I need to ease myself back into it first. So with that in mind, these will be my plans moving forward. The first thing I need to do is rewatch Steven Universe in its entirety. When everything came out and the whole fiasco in March was going on, I pretty much forcibly removed myself from the fanbase entirely. 
I only came back briefly just to watch the last few episodes of Future, but then after that, I was pretty much out of there. Thinking about Steven Universe at all pretty much brought back painful memories that I was not in the right state of mind to be thinking about at that time. So, I just quit. And I had gotten myself so out of it that this year, I completely missed the fact that Unleash the Light released on PC and consoles. That is how out of it I was, especially since I was excited to play another one of those games. So I'm going to need to get myself back into the Steven Universe, you know, groove, you know, watch it, ingest it, see if my opinions on it are still the same, or see if some stuff has changed, all that stuff. It's going to be a process. But in the meanwhile, I don't want to leave you guys entirely high and dry, especially since I'm not planning on making videos anytime soon. So, I'm mainly going to be putting my focus into community tab posts for now, preferably updating you all on the process of re-watching Steven Universe, but I'll use it for a lot of stuff in general. So much has happened this past year that I want to tell you guys about, and there's so much I want to ask you too. So, I'll be using that to not only catch up with you all, but to help ease me into the process of interacting with a community again. If all goes right with that, I should be able to gather up the courage to upload again. What am I going to do first? Well, I'll leave that a surprise for now, but you'll know when I do it. Trust me. My ultimate goal will be for me to eventually build up to being able to stream again. But you know, if you think me uploading videos again is going to take a long time, you have no idea how I feel about streaming right now. I'll put it this way. There's a huge difference between uploading a video and reading the comments and having to actively interact with tens of people in real time. And that sort of interaction is something I just don't think I'll be ready for for a good while. It really sucks because those streams were honestly my favorite things to do on the channel. But my mental health has to come first. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say. If I keep talking, I'm probably going to ramble and keep you for far longer than I need to, so I'm going to cut it off here. So again, thank you all for everything. I hope I can do better for you, and I will be working towards that. I'll catch you guys in the community tab posts if you're sticking around. See you guys then.